can't let it end this way. I have to fix it. I know you would too, Mom. That's right, folks. We're back for more. We are playing Grim Tales. This is Grim Tales number 17, which is crazy because I recall the first Grim Tales many, many moons ago. Grim Tales 17, guest from the future. Uh, you definitely saw a lot of gravestones there, a lot of grays. And uh, yeah, we're into this. My goodness. I'm not sure if it's my headset or. That music is volumetric. <laughs> all right, we're live. We're playing for, playing for, playing with all the beautiful people on Twitch, YouTube, and also on Periscope. That Twitter thing. Let's go ahead and we'll jump right in. This will sound strange, but I'm your daughter. I've traveled back in time because a deadly fever has struck our family, and I'm the last survivor, but not for long. No one escapes this curse. Please, you have to save my future. I'll bring you back to my present. I'm sure you have questions about me. I inherited some of your abilities. Like you, I can enter the past and talk with people. But I can't change the past. That's why I need your help. Wait, we suddenly have a 15-year-old daughter who can travel in time like me? That sounds horrifying. <laughs> she brought me back to a dark future where the greys are dying one by one. Oh no! Mom, I'm sorry. But in my time, you died too. This is my nephew Billy's mansion, where all the deaths occurred. Let's investigate and determine what caused the fever. Take this. Fever. Great. Fever. Like a flu fever? A, a fever from a flu? Or... Huh. It's strange to learn that I have a daughter in the future. Even stranger to meet her face to face. I must help her. So what uh, would we like here? A special feature? Sure, why not? Mm-hmm. That is one heck of an intro. Uh, by the way, like, this was made by Elephant Games and Broken Record Gibbs. I love the art that these guys use in their games. It's so good. Uh, the puzzles tend to be a little trickier than other developers, but the art is just fantastic. So let's go ahead and... Uh, this is a weird place for that. Oh, it's because it's a collectible. Uh, how would you react if a girl showed up and said it was a child from your future? I would be a little surprised. <laughs> but I would say, let's do this. Come with me if you want to live. That's what I would say. Oh, hello there. I was about to sip a cup of coffee and then a little puppy dog showed up. <laughs> Billy must have adopted a dog, but he doesn't seem to be glad to see me. So apparently we are looking for fragments as well. So let's go ahead and uh, continue here. Another fragment. So it looks like we're making screensaver parts. It's too high. It looks like we have to get that up there. What was that on the mailbox? I think I got it. It was the collectible, right? Yeah. A little weird. It's locked. I need something to unscrew this. I'm afraid Alice might have already have the fever. I must investigate further to get the future back on track. Wait, are we going back to the future? Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Let's go ahead and use that there. Knock that down. It's a puppy. Exactly. And we'll throw that on there. Dear Billy, I'm really disturbed by your call. I didn't manage to get you on the phone. What happened? Why can't I trust Isabella? Please call me as soon as you can. Alice. Isabella is Billy's wife, but it seems he had some trust issues. I should learn more about this new member of our family. 
Isabella and Billy. Dear Billy. Wow, that is one fierce animal. <laughs> nice. So we have a number, we have a hairpin, and we have Billy's bag. You've picked up a special item. Special items require more actions. So it looks like we're not able to open up Billy's bag. You think, I thought this may not belong, but it looks like it does. This, this, oh, there it is. Morphing objects, so it looks like we've got three collectibles, forks. Morphing objects, portraits, and little bits of fabric for screensavers. Actually, I am going to be playing Dreadful Tales 2. Uh, it is on my list, and uh, I have actually gone through all of my 2019 catalog, and I've picked about a half a dozen games that we're going to be playing over the next few weeks. So stick around. So what do we have here? Using the arrows, bend the hairpin to move the mechanism parts into place. Note that the green strip should align. Move the hairpin within the, with the left and right arrows. So, um, I see. So we gotta bump that up, up, down, up, up. So up, down, up, up. Let's see what this does. So that one has to go down and then up, down and then up. We did a lock picking uh, puzzle yesterday, didn't we? Wait, is this not good? Oh, maybe this is too far. Okay, hang on. Too much, too much. Bingo. You want to give the dogo, the douge, a treat, do you? Mm-hmm. The same lockbooks, the same lockbooks, it's Fantasia, Fanta oh my god, I can't talk today, let's just go inside instead. <laughs> Who was that? Was it a spirit? Alice seems as puzzled as I am. Oh, so that's a collectible right there. Hello, hello everyone. The color of the sky is a bit eerie, I agree. Billy said he had something important to tell me, but by the time I arrived, he was already dead. Man, that is one fierce outfit she's got on. Wow. I'm certain he discovered something about the fever and was trying to warn me. Let's search his study. Let's do it. I wonder what Billy knows. I may be able to find out if I search his study. I like this typewriter tasky business. It kind of reminds me of original Mr. Case Files. It's cool. What, what do I mix tea with coffee? Uh, I'm actually drinking my coffee neat. Is that the right term? Neat, empty, black. So there's our collectible. It's our portraits, thank you. And we have morphing objects. Thank you. And then we're gonna have little screensaver bits. I need more light to see what's hidden up there. Man, this music's kinda... I didn't notice the music in yesterday's game. Uh, we played uh, Mindframe yesterday. My sister Luisa's photo is here. Is she gone too? There should be statuettes honoring their memory here. She has a claw mark in her face? I didn't even see that. Or maybe I didn't notice. So let's, this is a collectible. No, I guess that's just a piece of the plant. It's Billy's study. If I get inside, I might learn what he learned or what he wanted to tell Alice. So I have myself an octopus amulet and a number eight. Hmm. Man, there is serious cobwebs in here. What am I actually trying to do? Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Let's go back outside. So it looks like I need uh, something to do that there. And the statue has a secret compartment. 
The symbol on the door looks similar to the symbol on the garage. Yeah, it's like this talking about this here, right? Yeah, I thought so too. It's a little spooky, is it? A little scary? See, it's got the same handle. It looks like I need a screwdriver. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> now I get it. So it looks like we have to do something in here with our octopus friend. Oh yeah, here we go, on the aquarium. Fish tank, thank you, Luna. Give me that lamp. Are those piranha? Like, who keeps pet piranhas? <laughs> that just sounds wrong. Pet piranhas? Light it up, up, up. We got some glitter. Let's dive in. Mm, look at how big and beefy these items are. Classic elephant games. Love it. It's a photo from my past. I can't believe poor Billy is gone. Hey, that's us. Wow. We are lovely. Have we got blue eyes? Looks like we've got blue eyes. Maybe. Brendan and Elena. Elena? I can't return to my time and tell them about their tragic future. I must prevent this. Hello, hello. I actually liked Mindframe. I thought it was a pretty good game. I mean, of course, just keep in mind we're going through the classics of 2019 just because I did miss out on quite a few of the good games last year. So we gotta clean up house a little bit. In the future, Billy will become a handsome young man. I need to correct his fate and keep him alive. Uh oh, if he's handsome, you know what that means. Right, chat? Yikes. So where's our doggy? Where's our... Oh, we already got our dog. We need a feather. My nemesis, the feather. I'm the first YouTuber you've ever watched? Well, that's nice. Welcome aboard. There's our feather. This episode is brought to you by the letter B. So B for bag. No, B for Billy. I now have a doorknob. Oh no, a box button and a Brandon statuette. Don't trust him. See, Galaxy knows and Meg knows. Rules are rules, right? Snakes are cool. <laughs> okay. Let's see what happens with that here. Seriously, that is a very weird box button. I agree with you. So what do I have here? I've got a cosmetic bag. You know, the other thing that's Elephant Games, uh, you know, typical game mechanic is you're gonna end up with a bajillion items on the bottom here. One of five, one of four, you know, stuff like that. Good times. So I have a box button. I don't recall there being a box anywhere. With each new jump, Oh, each new time jump, Alice's fever gets worse. I need to find out what Billy didn't manage to tell Alice. Then I'll be able to move forward. Hmm. The box button was by the door? I feel like that should be like a, a riddle. Uh, it looks like we need the letter four to do that by the study. Ah, it's actually this thing here. Thank you. Statue at number two. So this is how we work together and we solve the adventures. Oh, there you go. And what do we have in here? I think we got ourselves a doggy toy. Yeah. So we're not quite ready to open that. Isabelle's bracelet. Hmm. All right, douche, here you go, buddy. <laughs> okay, that is like seriously adorable. Oh, why doesn't it growl when I try to pull it away from him? 
Oh, the, the tail is wagging like crazy. Oh, that's so good. Great emblem. Oh, who doesn't have a little nail file? Oh, it's a pocket knife. Oh, okay. I thought it was a nail file. So where did we need that screw? Driver. Pocket knife, coin, and Isabel's bracelet. Am I going to put this on YouTube? Yes, Ninja, this will be going on YouTube. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. You've been a fan of Hopa La Plays for a long time? Well, I appreciate that. I've been doing this for a long time. Uh, I don't know if this will work. No? No, none of the above. I'm not entirely sure what I need this knife for. Hmm. Maybe she wants this. Nope. Use the coin on the garage doors? Oh yeah, right here. Here it is. I, I thought there was something we need to unscrew. Uh, so we have a magnetic handle. Interesting. That's probably going to help us here. And we have our puzzle. Yay! You have two pocket knives in your purse? <laughs> Very good. Obviously, I have no idea what I'm talking about. 